today's idea of the day goes to 11. Why is there no standard for volume? Um, if you look at just about anything today that has sound, it will have, um, in, in, in exchange for the old dial, it'll have some sort of graphic representation of the approximate volume. Sometimes there's no numbers, and I hate that, because let's say you, you kind of find yourself at a certain sweet spot, and you just say, all right, that's the volume I like. And now you have a, a child or someone over, and they change it and they adjust it back. It, it sort of, it would be great if there was always a number so that you could go back and say, well, you know, let's just put it back at the regular volume level, which is 13. Let's say it's on a scale of one to 50. Oh, I've seen some TVs that go zero to 50. I've seen some that go zero to 100. I've seen some that goes one to 10, which really isn't enough. I mean, if you're gonna have a volume setting on something, one to 10, the differences between each of those clicks is, 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 is just not right. There should be more increments in the middle, but there should be a number. There should be a standard. And if you ask me for certain things, that standard should actually be in something that's relative to the decibel level. So that if you set one thing, and let's say it's an earbud, and you wanna set it at six, assuming it has a number, but something, like, let's say that has a six, it should be something that if you took another brand of headset, that the six is actually the same amount of volume. So you know where you are on a scale relative to the actual sound. And if you have a speaker and you set it at 13, well, what is 13? 13 doesn't mean a damn thing, but at least it has a number, which again is better than the ones that don't have any number. But if there's going to be uh, some sort of a standard, it should be based on the actual sound level. And of course, in an earbud, it's going to be based on decibels as it's perceived by your ear because they're right in there. But if you have speakers, it should be based on the actual output level from the TV. So if you buy a brand of television that has a you know souped up sound system, it might say in the package, all right, this TV goes to 42. And that could be a volume that's based on a decibel level. Um, but it should be based on the actual approximate power. So a, you, it'd actually be great if you then went into the store to buy the TV and you'd see, oh, this one goes to you know, 70. And say, wow, that's twice as much as the one that went to 35. But at least it would be relative. But if you buy the one that has a cheap sound system, you buy the one with the expensive sound system, and they both have numbers and they're just random or they don't have numbers, they just have graphs, you really can't tell if one of them has a better speaker system, meaning louder, than the other one. So today's idea of the day is there should be a standard for volume. So that's it. That's today's idea of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are better. I got to admit. But if you really want to see a new idea each day, some of them are going to be good. Some of them are going to suck. What are you going to do? Subscribe and visit ideaoftheday.com.